Part 1. Listen to the full conversation. Hey, have you started getting ready for that scholarship application? Yeah, I've just begun. It's a bit overwhelming, though. I get that. What kind of scholarship are you going for? It's a merit-based one. I need to highlight my achievements and extracurriculars. Right. The whole shebang. Have you drafted your personal statement? Not yet. I'm brainstorming ideas, though. Any tips? Well, start with your motivations and experiences. Showcase your uniqueness. Got it. How about recommendation letters? Who should I ask? Teachers or supervisors who know you well. They should emphasize your strengths. Good call. I'll approach my math teacher and my internship supervisor. Smart choices. What about the language proficiency test? I'm a bit worried about that. English isn't my first language. No worries. Brush up on grammar and vocabulary. Maybe do some practice tests. That sounds doable. Did you check the eligibility criteria? Yeah, make sure you meet all the requirements. Don't miss any details. Thanks for the reminder. What about financial documentation? They might need proof of your financial situation. Gather all the necessary papers. True. I'll get started on that soon. How many words should the personal statement be? Usually around 500 to 800 words. Be concise, but highlight your achievements. Noted. Any advice on how to stand out in a sea of applicants? Focus on your unique experiences and how they shaped you. Be genuine. Genuineness. Got it. How are you managing the stress? Deep breaths and a study schedule. Break it into smaller tasks to make it less overwhelming. I'll try that. Are you applying for other scholarships too? Yeah, a couple. It's a numbers game, you know. Increase your chances. True, I should look into more options. Did you create a checklist? Absolutely. Keeps me on track. Tick off tasks as you complete them. A checklist sounds like a good idea. How do you plan on showcasing leadership skills? Highlight instances where you took initiative or led a team, even in small things. I'll think about that. Do you think the interview is challenging? Practice common questions. Be confident and articulate. You'll do great. I hope so. How's your progress so far? Getting there. It's a process, but each step takes you closer to the goal. Positive thinking. I like that. How important is community service in these applications? It can make you stand out. Emphasize the impact you've had on your community. I'll highlight my volunteer work then. Thanks for the tip. How do you plan to format your resume? Keep it clean and concise. Focus on relevant experiences and skills. Clear and concise, got it. Is there a specific format for the recommendation letters? Not really, but they should be formal and highlight your strengths convincingly. I'll brief my recommenders accordingly. Is there a deadline for submitting everything? Yeah, check the scholarship website. Don't miss the deadline. It's crucial. I'll make sure to note that down. How do you balance studying for exams and scholarship preparation? Allocate specific times for each. Don't let one overshadow the other. Time management, right? I struggle with that sometimes. How many scholarships are you applying for in total? About three. Quality over quantity, but having options is good. Three sounds manageable. I'll explore a few more. Are you using any online resources for guidance? Yeah, there are great templates and guides online. They're super helpful. I'll check those out. What's your backup plan if you don't get the scholarship? Apply for other financial aid options and maybe consider part-time work. True. Always good to have a plan B. How do you address weaknesses in your application? 
Acknowledge them briefly, but focus more on how you've learned and grown. Learn from mistakes, got it. Do you think grades weigh heavily in the selection process? They matter, but so do other factors. Showcase your overall capabilities. I'll make sure to highlight my strengths. How do you express gratitude in the application? A simple thank you at the end of your personal statement is a nice touch. I'll include that. Thanks for all the advice. I feel more confident now. Anytime. We're in this together. Good luck with your application. Practice session. Let's practice together. I'll go first. Hey, have you started getting ready for that scholarship application? I get that. What kind of scholarship are you going for? Right, the whole shebang. Have you drafted your personal statement? Well, start with your motivations and experiences. Showcase your uniqueness. Teachers or supervisors who know you well, they should emphasize your strengths. Smart choices. What about the language proficiency test? No worries. Brush up on grammar and vocabulary. Maybe do some practice tests. Yeah, make sure you meet all the requirements. Don't miss any details. They might need proof of your financial situation. Gather all the necessary papers. Usually around 500 to 800 words. Be concise, but highlight your achievements. Focus on your unique experiences and how they shaped you. Be genuine. Deep breaths and a study schedule. Break it into smaller tasks to make it less overwhelming. Yeah, a couple. It's a numbers game, you know. Increase your chances. Absolutely. Keeps me on track. Tick off tasks as you complete them. Highlight instances where you took initiative or led a team, even in small things. Practice common questions. Be confident and articulate. You'll do great. Getting there. It's a process, but each step takes you closer to the goal. It can make you stand out. Emphasize the impact you've had on your community. Keep it clean and concise. Focus on relevant experiences and skills. Not really, but they should be formal and highlight your strengths convincingly. Yeah, check the scholarship website. Don't miss the deadline. It's crucial. Allocate specific times for each. Don't let one overshadow the other.
About three. Quality over quantity, but having options is good. Yeah, there are great templates and guides online. They're super helpful. Apply for other financial aid options and maybe consider part-time work. Acknowledge them briefly, but focus more on how you've learned and grown. They matter, but so do other factors. Showcase your overall capabilities. A simple thank you at the end of your personal statement is a nice touch. Anytime. We're in this together. Good luck with your application. Now, let's switch the role. You go first. Yeah, I've just begun. It's a bit overwhelming, though. It's a merit-based one. I need to highlight my achievements and extracurriculars. Not yet. I'm brainstorming ideas, though. Any tips? Got it. How about recommendation letters? Who should I ask? Good call. I'll approach my math teacher and my internship supervisor. I'm a bit worried about that. English isn't my first language. That sounds doable. Did you check the eligibility criteria? Thanks for the reminder. What about financial documentation? True. I'll get started on that soon. How many words should the personal statement be? Noted. Any advice on how to stand out in a sea of applicants? Genuineness. Got it. How are you managing the stress? I'll try that. Are you applying for other scholarships too? True, I should look into more options. Did you create a checklist? A checklist sounds like a good idea. How do you plan on showcasing leadership skills? I'll think about that. Do you think the interview is challenging? I hope so. How's your progress so far? Positive thinking, I like that. How important is community service in these applications? I'll highlight my volunteer work then. Thanks for the tip. How do you plan to format your resume? Clear and concise, got it. 
Is there a specific format for the recommendation letters? I'll brief my recommenders accordingly. Is there a deadline for submitting everything? I'll make sure to note that down. How do you balance studying for exams and scholarship preparation? Time management, right? I struggle with that sometimes. How many scholarships are you applying for in total? Three sounds manageable. I'll explore a few more. Are you using any online resources for guidance? I'll check those out. What's your backup plan if you don't get the scholarship? True. Always good to have a plan B. How do you address weaknesses in your application? Learn from mistakes? Got it. Do you think grades weigh heavily in the selection process? I'll make sure to highlight my strengths. How do you express gratitude in the application? I'll include that. Thanks for all the advice. I feel more confident now.